Well, think about this. If your church disappeared, would the young people in your community even notice? Maybe not. And that's just one reason Ron Luce is going global with an outreach to 1.8 billion young people. Take a look. Ron Luce has reached millions of teenagers with the message of Christ. But that's getting harder to do with the decline of biblical values in our culture. In order to combat this problem, Ron is bringing together youth leaders from across the world for Jesus Global Youth Day in Manila, Philippines. It will be the world's largest global summit with youth leaders coming together to share what's working in reaching young people and how they can pass those strategies down to the next generation. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, Ron Luce. Ron, it's so great to see you. How you Thank doing? You, Wendy. Great to be here. Ron, what's the urgency now to reach young people for Jesus? We have something now I think that's never happened before, and that is what we call the grain of the church, both in America, in Europe, and really right. almost every place around the world that's been Christianized, the church is getting older and older, and pastors and leaders are very frustrated. They know that uh, Western media and culture has infected their young generation, and they don't know how to reach them, mm. and there's a, a bit of hopelessness, and they know that young people, even the ones whose parents go to the church, the young people aren't coming and they don't know what to do. And so Jesus Global Youth Day is an opportunity for leaders to come with their young people, not just youth leaders, but senior pastors are coming, bishops are coming, leaders of denominations are coming to both uh, come together as a celebration festival, but also the leaders are coming to learn best practices from other leaders around the world because there are some that are really doing well at reaching and discipling. It's not like uh, let's reinvent the wheel or let's, um, you know, splitting the atom. Has it ever been done? No, there are some that really know how, even in the midst of the barrage that's happening. So yeah. I just want to offer this whole event is to offer hope to leaders and to parents that we can reach and disciple the young generation. So it's in the Philippines Correct. in August. What will happen at this event? So uh, we've got nations planning already uh, to come, and uh, there's 1.8 billion youth in the world. We want to reach as many as we can, obviously not that many at this event, but many will come from these nations, and you can either come in person with your youth group uh, as a pastor or a leader, or you can host a watch party in your church. We already have about 83,000 churches signed up wow. around the world on the final day to fill their churches with young people and host that final night, the 10th, at 7 o'clock, their, their local time in their church. So people can either come to Manila for the event in person, or they can sign up to be a host church in their, in their local community and start reaching the young people right now in your local community by Jesus Global and Youth the, Day. The, the Christians in the Philippines and in Manila are so awesome and on mm. fire. So they they're, they're gonna be a great host country for mm. this. Tell us about the video, the music video contest that's related to this event. Well, we're releasing today the, the, the theme song for the event and the theme a video, and you'll get to see a glimpse of it here in a moment. And we're inviting people to be a part of a 10,000 voice virtual youth choir. You can get online and find out how to do that. To this very song, you'll get the lyrics and you'll get the soundtrack and you can have your youth group, your church group, sing it and post it and be a part of something that's never been done before, this virtual youth choir. All right, Ron, let's take a look at the type of video you're asking youth groups to submit. Roll the tape. Awesome, and so those will be seen at the event. Well, so youth groups can submit their own youth group singing the song and post it online, and then we will we'll, uh, uh, aggregate all of that into a whole new soundtrack with all these 10,000 voices. All right, Ron, how can people get involved? In August, we still have some time to plan, so how can people in churches and youth groups get involved? Well, now's the time if you hit uh, either cbn.com or our website, just jesusglobalyouthday.com, and you can just click get more information if you want to watch, if, uh, host a watch party, or if you want to come in person, all the details are there. Right now is the time to go today so you can get all the information on how to sign up for any of the things we've talked about. Well, Ron, we just, uh, oh, I know, I've known you now for 20 years. You have always had a heart for the young people, and you're still going strong. Thank you for this commitment because they are the future, and um, 
we really want to get behind this Jesus Global Movement Day. So thank you so much. Jesus Global Youth Day will take place in Manila, Philippines on August 8th through 10th. For more information on how you can take part or how you can submit a music video of your youth group, just log on to CBN.com and you can also hear more from Ron on our Facebook page. Just go to Facebook.com slash 700 Club and be sure to share it with your friends and family.